this is a little bit of a different one and it's rules I would change within the sport of MMA. First off, the three point rule. If you don't know what this is, it's when you are stood up, obviously, like this, and you literally put your hands on the floor, like this. So I've got my toes on the floor. Let me get the camera so you can see, actually. I've got my toes on the floor, like this, and I put my hand on. That counts as three points. Let's put the camera back. And that rule, I'll be honest, I don't really like it. It's used to be tactical. When you are defending on the cage, your partner pulls your head over your toes and you can literally put your hand down and it stops you from getting kneed in the face. So when I'm doing it, it stops me kneeing you in the face against the cage. And it's annoying. I want to knee you and you've literally got your hand down, so I can't. Some refs are a little bit different. Some people say that, some people say that. Really, it's a flat of a hand but it is used for tactics, so you can't get need in the face. And usually, it's there, it's plain clear. I could knee you full pelt, and it's just open. It's asking me to go in. And my proposal would be, a grounded opponent counts if their knee is down. Not if they're on their feet and they've got one hand down. Their knee goes down, and then I can't knee them in the face. But if their knees are off the floor, I should be allowed to knee him in the face. Next one, grabbing the fence. This is annoying. I don't grab the fence. I don't really see the point because I know you're going to get caught with it. But there should be a bigger punishment, I think, personally, because it could affect the fight massively. I could be going for a takedown. They grab the fence. The ref just smacks his hand, stop me getting the takedown. That could be me taking them down, finishing them on the floor, or even submitting them. But you never know. So I think if you grab the fence, there should be a bigger punishment for it to stop people doing it. Because it happens in most fights. Most fights you'll see a little grab of the fence or even grabbing in the gloves. Any sort of little wager can bend the rules. And I think as soon as you see anyone grab the fence straight away, instead of smacking their hand as the ref, a straight point as soon as it happens. One point. Like that. They do it again. Another point. They do it three times in a round. They've lost three points already. It's going to be hard to win after that. They're going to have to win by a knockout or submission most likely. The water trick. Now you'll see Romero. I believe it's him. He does the water trick. And what this is. This is normally on the coach's behalf. But they're really tired. They sat down. <sighs> Imagine. Hmm, do I have any water? I have water. Drinking the water like this, fighters like this, the coach, I don't want to do this because I'm in my room, but pours the water over the red, but not a little bit, they drench them so there's water everywhere. So really, it's a safety hazard. The ref then, as everyone gets cleared out, gets the towel to wipe it up, but really that's made your minute of rest, potentially a minute and a half of rest. And that's been done for tactics because your fighter is absolutely knackered. So it's done to waste time, and I don't like it. Just train harder so you're fitter. It's easier said than done. But I think my proposal would be two points off the scorecards straight away if your coach does that, because you see it a lot. I hate it when I'm ready to go, and I see they, they've done that, and I know they've done it because they're knackered, and then they've got to get the towel out to wipe it. Don't get me wrong, I like the rest, but I know I can grind harder. So when I see it, I don't like it because I don't want to put it on them. And when I see them actually do it, I know I've won in my head. I've beaten them mentally because they are knackered. They are absolutely fucked. Next one, time wasters. You could link that with the other one as well. But people won't agree with this one, but I do. Individuals who take you down and literally just hold you. They've got you on a double leg like this. And they just stay there. They don't move. They don't try and progress. They don't try and punch you. They don't try and submit you. They just hold you for dear life. And one thing, it's boring. It's absolutely boring. Who wants to watch that? That's like watching this. On this. For 25 minutes. What's the point? There is no point. It's the entertainment business. And that 
is the opposite of bloody entertainment. So get rid of that straight away. My proposal, two points. If they're holding, I'm going to say, I don't know. I don't know, maybe a minute. That is quite a long time. 45 seconds of holding, they're not progressing. You could leave it or you could put it down to them being tired. So let's go a minute. They've held for a minute long and they're not going to progress. They don't want to do anything. Don't just stand them up. Find that dude. Give that dude or woman two points because it's boring and I don't want to see it. Now this one, a little bit different. Fantasy. This would be my fantasy with rules. And I think there should be a drugs division and a drug free division. What you see on TV now, that's the drug free. Obviously people do take performance enhancers and get away with it. But I believe it'd be pretty cool to see what potential people could get to if it was actually legal. So now you're open. If you take drugs, you're in this one. If you take performance enhancers, steroids, I don't know what the other ones are. I just know that one. The ones what John Jones got caught for, any of them. You're in this side. You're in the drugs division. But everyone knows it. There's no hiding it. You can take as much as you want. Totally up to you. You're there. Let's call this UFC DD, drugs division. And then we have UFC, the normal one. So you have the UFC DD and the UFC. This one, you can take as many drugs as you want to get you better at fighting MMA. And this one, you're clean. You don't take nothing. And then you can just see. See what they're like. See what their gas tank's like. See what their physique's like. I think it'd be a pretty cool one to watch. Me personally, I'm going in the normal one. But there are people that fight in the normal one, take drugs, and they get away with it. I think there should just be a separate division. And then my last little fantasy is no rounds division. I'm going to put division because not everyone's going to be up for it. So we, same again, two different styles. Instead of doing three fives, you just do 15 minutes straight. Straight, raw dog it, straight from the bat. If it's a 25 minute fight, sweet. 25 minutes, the bell goes. And at the end of the 25 minutes, the bell goes. That's it. There's no rounds in between or anything like that. I think that'd be pretty cool as well, seeing how people's gas tanks and energy systems will last. Because someone that is very good at free fives and got the gas tank for free fives may not have the gas tank for 15 minutes straight because they prepared themselves for that sport of having that minute rest to recover and that minute rest to recover and then go again. But if you put this into the equation, ooh, it could switch things up a little bit, I tell you that. But there's some rules I would change about MMA and a little bit of a fantasy division or two funny fantasy divisions that I would put in. But that's how I'm thinking because we're built different around these ends and I'll see you tomorrow. Bish, bash, bosh, pow!